This is Dave for Taboo Customs. This video today, we are going to review and discuss our newly purchased Bailey BP3305 press brake. So first, let's talk about why we selected this press brake over others. Now, before we purchased this press brake, we did have a little bit of forming capability. We had an iron worker, we had a small 12 inch die in that iron worker, and we were able to form small pieces there, but we had no CNC control over that iron worker. It was really just a foot pedal, so uh, it was not greatly accurate. Uh, so as we want to evolve our shop here, we need to purchase a press brake. The biggest thing with selecting a press brake was, well, two big things. One, the cost of the press brake. Obviously, as a small small business, uh, that was the, one of the major things when we were looking at press brakes. Uh, this brake brake here, you know, at the end of the day, ended up coming out to about $20,000 right now. The other big thing was making sure that we knew what size press brake we wanted. So if you're selecting a press brake, make sure you really understand that. Um, our big thing was we wanted to be able to form uh, seven gauge four feet wide. So a seven gauge four feet wide uh, with the different die sets that you can get with this press brake. We ended up coming out to where it was about 28 tons, I believe, and this is a 33 ton press brake. So it was within the window of, of this press brake, and that's really what started to drive us towards purchasing this press brake, along with Bailey, from what we could tell, was a pretty reputable company, and so, uh, so we wanted to make sure that we are buying from a reputable company and, and buying something that we knew we would get support on if we did have any issues. All right, so let's talk about a few of the features of this press brake that uh, for us really stand out and helped us make sure that we, we wanted to purchase it. One was having uh, automatic back gauging, CNC back gauging. So we can enter our number that we want to the center of the bend into the uh, controls here, and those back gauges will automatically move, which is uh, really a great addition to making anything consistent. Uh, the also one of the great options is that it comes with a die set and it comes with a die set with a bottom die that can rotate for seven different die opening locations. So it really is uh, helpful for a small shop because you can go from bending quarter inch on a two inch die opening to bending, you know, for us smallest thing we bend is 14 gauge on let's say a three quarter inch die opening and it really changes the amount of tonnage you need uh, for those bends so that really does help out in addition you know having cnc control over the uh the downstroke of the bend that combined with the back gauging would allow us to make parts very consistent uh, bends that are very consistent but once you understand you know especially with your different parts what you know dimensions you really need to punch into there you can make those parts over and over really consistently all right so let's take a walk around the press brake i'll point out some of the items now uh, it has an e21 uh, controller which will show a little bit of how that works whenever we're forming some parts at the end of this video um, moving around you know some of the safety features on the press you know there is a, a light curtain that goes across um, we do have you know quick opening clamps on the top to be able to move your dies in and out which is really helpful the die the top die is split in the middle which um, for us whenever we're forming some things that have forms on the ends we'll have to open that up slide those dies around to make sure that we can uh, can form those um, on the sides there's little wings that uh, protect you from being able to get in the machine and anytime you open up any of these items there's a lot of switches that will shut the machine off just to make sure you keep everything safe now one thing that uh, is also really nice while we're over here is to switch this bottom die out they actually have this small chain and what you can do is you'll lower the top die down to the bottom die put this chain around these two pegs and then you can actually use the upper ram to lift the bottom die so that you can rotate it around to the other areas that you might want to use for the die opening. As we move around to the back, 
<clears throat> there is another door for you to get in the back. You can go in there um, if for some reason like your back gauges got off. You could go in there and adjust those. Uh, there are a lot of different things up top. You can see the main motor, the valve body, um, and you have a couple of gauges to give you some information on whether machine is, you know, working correctly or doing some troubleshooting as far as how much pressure, you know, the gauge or excuse me, the the press brake is reaching when you're forming, and then also you get a uh, a temperature and um, oil level gauge, which obviously, you know, being a hydraulic press, uh, the oil level is going to be very important. So, you know, one thing about buying a press like this um, and for that price, obviously it was not made in the USA. I wish uh, I could buy a made in the USA press, but uh, one, there's not a whole lot of them that are made in the USA, and two, uh, those are the ones that are out of our price range. Maybe in the future we'll be able to get there. This they, these are made in China, but you know, one thing that really impressed me when I, I got the press, and I'll show you that here, is that uh, you know, I was really impressed by the workmanship, especially when you came in and you started to look at the electronic controls because you can see how many wires are in here, and you can see how cleanly the box is uh, is set up every wire is labeled um, i assume probably at each end with a number showing you you know what that wire is and where it is is going so that's one thing that uh you know when i got this and i was you know slightly worried about buying something you know a press made in china but uh, this really showed us that uh, it is it is a very good quality press now as far as when we received the press you know, there were, there were a couple additional things that we had to do to make sure we could get it into place, being a small shop. Um, our forklift that we had really wouldn't be able to handle the press, so you, we did have to get a larger forklift because this is uh, about 5,100 pounds when it, it is uh, delivered. And then we also had to, of course, wire it. And this does take three phase. Luckily, in our new shop here, we have three phase, and I think, I can't remember, I think it's a 30 amp three phase. Uh, breaker. Uh, so, you know, make sure that if you are going to purchase one of these presses, you do have the capability for that. Or, I assume you could run a phase converter, but luckily for us, this time, we didn't have to. Okay, so next let's talk a little bit about the controller here. And we've got the machine started up, and it's pretty easy to start the machine up. You know, just turn this over to one, you press the green button, you can hear the main motor on the back uh, whining and that it's running. And uh, on this screen here, and there's several different screens, this is the main screen where we're putting in our, 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 what a, our programming a single bend. We can do multiple bends in programs. Honestly, we really haven't messed with that. We are mainly um, doing small runs, so we typically just do it, you know, single programming right now. So going back to the single program, we really got for us what we use, uh, and there's multiple things you can change in here, but we really only use the X and the Y uh, positions. And the X position is really our, our back gauge position, you know, and it's easy to go in here and change. You type in a number, you press enter, you can see it changed. The Y position is actually how far down the die goes, and it says 0.85. That doesn't actually mean it goes down 0.85 inches way it's set up is that bottom die is a square and the center of that die is zero then this means that we're going down 0.85 inches from that zero so as we go over here and once we enter in a different uh, number press this and you see the machine is actually adjusting where that x and the y is at we do have some fine tuning that we can do with the little dial here on the machine if we want to dial in our back gauges a little bit more. But once we get there, we can actually use our foot pedal and go ahead and bend our parts. All right, so one thing that you'll see, you'll see we have some papers on our press brake here. One thing we learned when we got our press brake is that uh, we had to try to figure out, okay, you know, we know we want to bend something to 30 degrees. What dimension is that down from the top of our die and what we did was we took a bunch of small sample pieces and uh, we made a lot of bends at differing dimensions and it basically just plotted it out on a chart. Now that gets us close 
but because these are only basically an inch wide, it's going to be a little bit off. But it gets us close enough to where we can dial it in. And once we have it dialed in, we can uh, uh, then repeatedly bend to those parameters pretty, pretty easily. So, so now what I'll do is I'll show you, you know, bending some parts. Um, I've already entered our information into the system. The back gauges have moved. Now, one thing I have found that uh, is maybe a drawback is that if you go from entering like 0.8 to like 0.2, you do have to kind of stand here and wait for what feels like a long time uh, for the press to reset its stop. Uh, that's the one thing that kind of is a little bit annoying. But once you have everything set up and it's ready to go, you switch over to the single run mode. You essentially just push your uh, part into the stop, press on the down button, and it will basically just go down to wherever you have told it to go to. Which, uh, like I said, is really nice for being repeatable and I found it pretty accurate. So in summary on the, the Bailey BP3305 press brake, we've been really happy with it. Like I showed you, I was pretty happy with the quality I saw, you know, in the electrical cabinet. Been really happy with the performance of the uh, equipment as it stands. Uh, the other thing I've been really happy with is the Bailey support. You know, buying any large piece of equipment like this, you can usually expect to either have a few questions or a few minor things, you know, and that's one of the, one of the things for a small business. If you can't get support for a product and you've got to try to figure it out yourself, it can make that a lot more challenging. Um, I did have several questions for Bailey once I got this, some technical related, some um, other regarding the press break, and they were incredibly responsive uh, over the phone, by email, even to the, to the point of writing me some simple quick work instructions on how to adjust the speed of the RAM and different things. So, so they've been incredibly helpful. Uh, definitely, if you're a small uh, fabrication shop looking to buy a small press break, uh, I would definitely recommend this. I really, uh, really like it, and I'm glad we purchased it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions on the press break or anything else that we do, you can get a hold of us here on YouTube, or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram, or you can also see us on our website and contact us through taboocustoms.com. Thanks.